quickly show you how to install. So this would be your folder that you unzipped and this is the Adobe Scripts folder. So if you're using the user interface, you would um, simply drag and drop all these guys into that folder. Um, then when you restart Adobe After Effects, if I go back to After Effects, under the window menu, um, down at the bottom, you have AED isolate under slash UI uh, file, UI standing for user interface. So if you click that, um, that's the UI version which you can dock anywhere in your interface. I had it there on the left of the timeline. So, um, also, I have supplied um, a non user interface version. So, this is for use with FT Toolbar or something similar. So, um, if you have FT Toolbar installed, um, which I do, so um, you can use the icon supplies. So, there's the, the script, um, the non user interface script. Um, so, it has the same functionality. So, if we just use this from FT Toolbar, so um, I've isolated there, click it again to unisolate. Um, I'm shift clicking to isolate by color, so pick uh, that guy and then unisolate. Maybe I didn't have any of that color, so maybe some yellow layers. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, uh, select a couple of layers, alt clicking, um, solos and shies, everything not in use, and then alt and shift clicking. Um, Sorry, just select something first. Alt and shift clicking, uh, just solos those layers. Okay, so um, that's isolate. Um, a little tip would be if you have installed um, a script called Keyed Up, you can get this free on the Adobe website. It's a script to allow you to set keyboard shortcuts in After Effects. So if you have this installed under uh, General, which is there, uh, if I scroll down, I have these run script um, functions. So these run script functions correspond to your scripts folder uh, for After Effects. So I've already assigned Alt and I to run script number one and you just simply click update shortcut and then click OK. Um, it says you need to restart After Effects for changes to take effect. So you can OK that. Um, so if I go to my file browser now, so if I go up to the scripts directory, so I'm not in this um, script UI panels directory anymore, I'm in the scripts directory, and you drop in these two guys, I'm not using this one that my cursor is pointing at because that's for the user interface dockable panel in After Effects. If I drop these two guys in that folder um, and then this is the only script in here, so this will be the first script. Um, if you had, um, if I copy that a couple of times, if you wanted to make sure that this uh, Say, say that it's like a second script down and you wanted to make sure it was the first script listed in that directory. Well then maybe stick a zero one under slash at the start of it and it'll pop to the top regardless of what other scripts are, are in the folder. So it'll always be listed as number one. Okay, I've cut the video and I've restarted After Effects so I'm going to see if my keyboard shortcut works so I'm just going to select some layers and on my keyboard I'm hitting Alt I and yeah it works so um, the isolate script is attached to that keyboard shortcut uh, run it again to unisolate so um, that's quite handy if you use it a lot the only thing is it doesn't have all the other functionality such as shift clicking as the UI version um, so the choice is yours. So that's isolate for Adobe After Effects, a simple way to focus on the layers that you want.